Recently, many people asked me, How can you be so positive and healthy in this crazy world? I think there are a bunch of reasons, but the biggest one is because of Chanoyu, which is a tea ceremony. Chanoyu is said to be the ultimate form of Japanese hospitality and physical art through the body and objects. The spirit of Chanoyu has also been adapted by many successful people, such as Konosuke Matsushita, the founder of Panasonic, Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, and former Major League Baseball player Ichiro Suzuki. So today, I'd like to share with you seven ways for living a happy life that I learned through Channel U. So let's get started! Firstly, guests always wash their hands at the tsukubai, a special wash basin before entering the tea room. This is the same concept as entering a sacred shrine after purifying your hand and mind. First, importance of purification. In Chanoyu, the intention of purification is very important. The tea room is always kept clean, and tea utensils are as well. On top of that, tea utensils are cleaned again during Chanoyu. Why must it be so clean? This is because by cleaning such things, you're also purifying your own mind. By doing so, you can get rid of your daily worries and always have a fresh mind. I incorporate this intention into my daily life. Speaking of tsukubai, the tsukubai that greatly influenced my idea of minimalism is located at Ryoanji Temple in Kyoto. Second, what is minimalism? As you can see, characters are written on all four sides of this tsukubai, and there is a square in the center. And if you pair each character with this square, four different characters will be formed. Ware, tada, taru wo, shiru. Ware means I, tada means simply, taru means what is enough, shiru means no. I simply know what is enough. This means knowing that your content will bring peace to your heart. I was shocked when I encountered this phrase in my life because I realized that this is the essence and foundation of minimalism. In short, no matter how many things you have, no matter how many new, cutting edge, or luxurious things you seek, you will never find peace of mind. Whereas, even if you have few things, if you are satisfied with your situation, and appreciate what you have, you will find peace and satisfaction. That's why I practice this way of living with as few things as possible. Third, what is a truly free world? After purifying your hands and mind at Tsukubai, guests enter through a small door called a Nijiriguchi. Is it because Japanese people used to be so small? Is it because Japanese people used to be ninjas? Wrong! <laughs> then why is the entrance to the tea room so small? The main reason is that everyone, even people of a high status, must bow their heads when entering the room. Also, it was said that samurai must hang their swords on the sword rack outside before entering as well because the door was too small. That's why the inside of the tea room becomes a sacred space where everyone is equal and peaceful. In other words, you won't be judged by your position, age, gender, nationality, skin color, or other backgrounds, and can come as you are. In this case, everyone can enjoy drinking matcha together. Don't you think it's wonderful? I really hope that the world will become a space like this tea room. When entering the tea room, guests take a close look at a hanging scroll. The theme of today's Chanoyu, prepared by the host, is written on the hanging scroll, usually a Zen word. As a hanging scroll that is often used, there is a Ichigo Ichie. Fourth, the importance of Ichigo Ichie. Ichigo means a lifetime, and Ichie 
means a one-time meeting. In other words, it means a once-in-a-lifetime meeting. Many Japanese people think this means you may never see the person you meet that day again, so church the time you spend with that person. It's good meaning, but the true meaning is deeper. This true meaning is even if you meet with your family and friends every day, you will only meet and experience this day once in a lifetime, and the same day will never come back. You're a different person today than you're tomorrow. The same goes for your family and friends. Therefore, there is no same meeting. The same can be applied for encounter with things. Your current state and the state of things are always changing. Therefore, in Channel You, we sincerely make matcha for the guests and treat things with great care. I still have a long way to go, but I'm working hard every day to live like that. Fifth, importance of routine. Channel You begins with folding a square cloth called fukusa and cleaning the tea utensils. All of the movements have a meaning, and they are minimal, non-wasteful movements. Moreover, it's purposeful and very beautiful. And during that routine, your mind calms down, and you can focus on the moment. Do you know Ichiro's routine? He always does the same routine before entering the batter box. He said in one interview, I do the same routine to work and prepare my body, by doing so, the mind will naturally be organized and calmed down. I don't know if Ichiro got the hint from Channel Yu, but Ichiro has proven the importance of a routine. I make my own routines every day. I try to wake up at the same time every day, have the same morning routine, and have the same evening routine. Since I started doing this, I've not only been able to keep my body healthy every day, but I've also been able to spend each day with a calm mind. Sixth, the importance of mindfulness. Chanoyu is said to be Zen-like movements. This is because Chanoyu is said to have originated from Zen Buddhism. There is a saying, Chazen Ichimi, this means that even though Chanoyu and Zen may look different, the state they pursue is the same. The process of making tea through Chanoyu quietly and slowly incorporates the spirits of Zen to then feel a sense of peace. I'm just focused on the now while making delicious tea for the guests in front of me. There is no room for distractions. In addition, since you do the same routine when making matcha, the mind is naturally prepared and the breathing becomes deep and steady. That's exactly what mindfulness is. I experienced the effects of mindfulness through Channel Yu. Steve Jobs famously incorporated the Zen spirits into his business and way of life. Not only that, but many well-known companies are practicing mindfulness with a sense of Zen. It said that no matter how busy Konosuke Matsushita was, he would prepare himself matcha every morning and then get ready for work. So I do that too. Every morning, I do a simple style of Chanoyu and make matcha for myself. What a blessing it is to be able to calm your mind and also enjoy delicious matcha. Seventh, Wakei Seijaku. Finally, I'd like to share with you the four most important spirits of Channel Yu. This is Wakei Seijaku. Wa, harmony, respect and harmonize with all people and things. Kei, respect, be humble, be respectful to others, and be respectful to things. Sei, purity, purify or clean not only what you see, but also your heart. Jaku, tranquility. Keep your mind calm and not faced by anything. I truly believe that if everyone could live like this, the world would be more peaceful and wonderful. However, unfortunately, looking at the world today, conflicts are deepening due to differences in nationality, gender, skin color, 
and values. And I feel that the world is getting farther and farther away from such an ideal world. But isn't that the world you want to live in, right? It's not a matter of white and black. I think it's important for each and every one of us to accept each other and have compassion. To do that, it's important to first become that kind of person yourself. Recently, I spent my days thinking that way. So, today I shared with you seven ways for living a happy life that I learned through Channel You. Will you be incorporating any of these practices into your daily life? If so, which ones? I'd be happy if there was even one word that resonated with you. Also, for the shooting of this YouTube video, I received a lot of cooperation from my tea ceremony teacher, Mako. This teacher also has a YouTube channel. So, if you are interested in the tea ceremony, please take a look at the link in the description. And let's live happily even a little in this crazy world together. So, stay safe, have fun. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.